first things first, what is a database? Is a database any different from Google or Bing or any internet search engine? Yes and no. A dictionary defines a database as an organized collection of data. The real difference is between a database like EBSCOhost or another database like Google is the content they search. Google searches the vast parameters of the World Wide Web. Databases like EBSCOhost do have parameters, but they are limited. They are searching articles in various journals and magazines. We have already looked at Corbin Search. Corbin Search is a database that searches all the content that you have access to as a student at Corbin University. It is nice in many respects because it is searching stuff that you can get now. You don't need to pay for an article or wait three or four days for a book from another library to come in. You can get it now. We already looked at how to find books on Corbin Search. Let's take a look at articles. Simply go to the library's homepage and enter a search term in the box that says search all of Corbin's resources. We have been looking at the terms media and violence, so let's enter those two terms into the box. One thing intimidating about doing a search like this on this database or Google is the number of results you get. Do not let this intimidate you. Work on narrowing down your results. For starters, we have already looked at books. We want only articles. Let's narrow our search down to articles and more. Narrowed it down a bit, but not much. We want peer-reviewed journals. Peer-reviewed, refereed, scholarly all have the same idea. The content has been reviewed by peers in the discipline. This means that the works in this journal have been reviewed by peers in the discipline who critique and evaluate the content to make certain it hits the mark of scholarship. By hitting this, it narrowed down our results. But that still gives us a lot of articles to look through. Can we narrow it down some more? As we have discussed, media violence is a time-sensitive topic. In other words, the two terms, media and violence, both have changed somewhat in the last 20 years. What was written 20 years ago regarding media violence likely has little bearing on the topic today due to many factors. Because of this, we want to look at recent literature, so let's narrow our search down to publication date after 2000. We will want to look at articles. We do not want reviews, which offer book reviews and such, nor do we want newspaper articles. So let's narrow our search down to articles. We still have many articles to look through. We can narrow it down even further by using subjects. When a database searches for terms, it typically uses keyword searching. That is, it looks everywhere and anywhere for the words you enter. The title of an article, the title of a journal, an author's name, the abstract, it looks everywhere. Needless to say, when it does this, you cannot be certain that the article is on your topic. For example, one of the articles that came up in our search was the title Frontier Capitalism and the Expansion of Rubber Plantations in Southern Laos. This is an article in the Journal of Southeast Asian Studies. What does this have to do with our topic of media and violence? Not much. It just happens to be an article that has the words media and violence used. Let's go back to our original results. In this case, we have a subject that directly relates to our topic, media violence. It looks like the results are much more manageable. Let's take a look. Since we are looking for recent articles, let's narrow our results down a little further to articles printed after 2008. Corbin Search as a default only lists articles that are available full text. If you are coming up short on your results or you are simply curious, click on Expand Beyond Library Collections. It will list articles that are not available full text but can be easily requested. If an article is available full text, it will provide a tab that says View Online. This will take you to a place that has a link to the article. Hit the link and the article is full text. If you are off campus, this is where you will need to log in to view the content. If an article is not available full text, it will provide a link that says Services. This link provides some options. Go to the link under Request Article. This opens up a form that has all the article information in it. To request this article, simply put your name in the box with an asterisk and hit send request. If you look at an article and find it helpful for your research paper, Corbin Search offers a tool called Recommendations. Not all results will have recommendations, but if you can find a good article that fits your research endeavors well, and if it has a tab marked Recommendations, look at it. What Corbin Search is saying when it lists recommendations is if this article is good for your research endeavors, you might like these too. Some of these articles will be available full text, while others take you to a link 
where the article can be requested. Let's say you are finding some great articles, but you are in a rush to get to class. You don't want to print them at the moment, but you don't want to have to come back and look for these articles again. Corporate Search does allow you to save articles and books that you find, so you can come back to them. To do this, simply click on Sign In in the upper right hand corner. It will ask you for a barcode number and your last name. Your barcode number is on your student ID card. It is typically a 9 digit number with some zeros in front of it. Then enter your last name and hit login. Your name will show up now in the upper right hand corner. To save an item to your folder, simply click on the little star next to the title. This adds it to your folder. You can do this while not being logged on as well, but when you step away from the computer, the items will be gone from the folder. If Corbin Search searches most of the content in Corbin University's databases, why would I want to go to another database? That is a good question. The keyword on that question is most. Honestly, if you're able to find everything you need on Corbin Search, there really is no need to look at our other databases. However, if you cannot find articles, you may need to look in some of our subject specific databases. For example, if you are doing research on a biblical or theological theme, you may find it helpful to look into the Bible Theology Ministry databases. To get there, simply go back to the library's homepage, click on Databases by Subject, and click on Bible Theology Ministry. Click on Bible Theology Ministry Databases and click on Bible Theology Ministry Databases again. Let's say we're doing some research on the Great Commission. As we did earlier, instead of looking through all the results, work on narrowing down your results first. We want full text and peer-reviewed. This is a topic that is not time sensitive. Honestly, research done on this topic 75 years ago may have more validity than research done in the past five years. This is a textual study. And while many perceptions of the Bible have changed in the last 75 years, the text under study has not. Let's narrow it down one more time and look at the subject, Great Commission Bible. I have a handful of articles to look at. Even though these databases are different, the same elements remain. A few key elements should help you navigate through these databases. First, start by using some distinct keywords, one or two, or at the most three, that will narrow your topic down well. Second, if you pull up a lot of results, don't be intimidated, but use the limiters on the side of the screen to narrow your results down. Third, if you can find a subject that relates well to your search, use it. But if not, limit your results down by date, article type, full text, peer-reviewed, and any other limiters you think will bring up good articles. Fourth, if by chance you cannot find a full text article that is good for your paper, and if you are in Corbin Search, take a look at expanding your results and request articles via that venue. Fifth, if you find a good article and are in Corbin Search, use the Recommendations tab to find more. Sixth and finally, consider logging into Corbin Search to save the articles or books in your folder.